Well, Detroit is known for Motown, the big three, and potato chips, among you know, just a few other things. That's right, but Detroiters aren't just eating chips. They're repurposing the bags into warm and waterproof sleeping bags. A former Detroit teacher launched her own nonprofit, washing used chip bags and creating sustainable gear. Philanthropist Arata Jerry Oletta is rarely without her wagon, which is filled mostly with trash. So this is our sleeping bag. So this is the first items that we created to be able to give out to people. Trash turned into treasure. These sleeping bags made from chip bags are donated to mutual aid organizations that help the unhoused. Everything that we use in our sleeping bags are completely upcycled. The inside of it is made from just a regular chip material, so like just any kind of um, mylar that you will find anywhere. Mylar is often used for thermal insulation because of its reflective properties. The sleeping bag reflects your body heat and acts like a cocoon. Demand quickly exceeded supply. I tell people all the time, I did not expect for this to grow like this. It was supposed to be a six month project and me collecting 60,000 bags. And within three or four months, we're almost at a million pounds. And now we're like 2.5 million pounds. Chip Eye Project was born in 2020, drawing attention to how much we waste and the potential for innovative and sustainable change. Every chip bag that's ever existed on Earth is still on Earth today. And that really blew my mind. And I'm like, we can do something with this. This is it's way too many people in this world who eat chips and use Mylar that we're not thinking more creatively and we're just making more and more stuff out of it. It takes about 180 chip bags to create a single sleeping bag. So how do we go from a chip bag to a sleeping bag? One of the first things that we do is when we get a chip bag, we always wash it. Um, we also make sure that it has a, a nice amount of layer of plastic too. They iron as many layers as possible to create a nice thick fabric. We're fusing those plastics together to make one giant sheet and then we start to kind of add our installation and then we add our layering product on top. The initiative has taken on a cult following and now Chip by Project is branching out hosting their first ever trashin show challenging fashion designers to create looks using discarded material. We wanted to really be in a space of giving people a fresh dose of creativity, but also showing them that you're not limited to new things. Old things can also be made new again. I think that Chip Act Project is a story of Detroit. It's resilient, it is innovative, it's inspiring, and also it's about people and community and how we're bridging all of those things together. And Irata Jerry Oletta, as well as fashion designer Olisa, join us in studio this morning. Ladies, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank Such you. a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. It's so cool to feel, <laughs> to feel it. It's yes. loud. Yeah, it's very loud. I think that's one of the most thing, um, important things about Chip Bag Project. We're very loud. We're both making a statement in how we're doing our project by having something that is both applicable for people who are houseless, but also having a social conversation about environmental sustainability and climate change, but also it looks really cool it to does. me. It, it looks does. really cool to me, um, and it's making a big statement in how we get to talk about climate change, because when you are having a conversation about what is happening in the world, it's better when you can see it. So with this, we're able to show people, hey, this is how much waste we're actually collecting. All right, talking about what you can see, we're yes. actually going to be looking at fashion designs and a brand new concept called Trashin. Yes. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so one of the things that Chip Rack Project and Chippin' In is really um, committed to is making sure that we have big movements. So one of our first big movements this year is our Trashin' Show. Okay. So we're doing a preview at Easter Market After Dark for a month of design. We're really excited to be able to offer Detroit an opportunity to really flex their skills. We know this city is full of superstars and everybody here has a great idea. And we want to give you an opportunity to bridge together climate change, environmental sustainability, ability and fashion. And talking about those superstars, we've got a fashion designer ah, in studio yes. with yes. us. Yes, we do. Talk about the theme and the idea behind trash in. So the theme is really turning treasure, turning trash into treasure. So using the materials that are, you know, known as trash and then turning into designs and mm -hmm. beautiful wear and just turn it like these bags, for example, which were actually Ooh. made out of chip bags that we turn oh, into yes. tote bags. Mm -hmm. With straps yeah. and everything. And, yes. and the straps are also recycled materials. So just using all types of different materials and make it into treasure. How difficult was it, this challenge, uh, for fashion designers to, to turn trash into treasure like this? It's actually really fun when Arata brought me onto this project. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and not working with 
fabric and uh, then working yeah. with chip bags is really fun. So it's not that hard. Really? Is that was that your reaction? Like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I would have been like, it was. Yes, yes. No, I'm she, very excited. She was very <laughs> excited. I think for other designers, it's a very challenging place when somebody is telling yeah. you to work with a different material. Olisa was just like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let's, let's do it. Show me how. Capricorn energy in her, <laughs> That's honestly. Right. That's right. You know, so we were really excited. I think for other designers, it might be a challenge, but what we're doing is giving you all the resources. Mm -hmm. We extended the design time, so instead of only having a month, you have four months. We're going to do our okay. big preview show in February. Um, right now, for month of design, you get to just meet some of our designers, talk to Elisa yes. some more, um, interact with Chip Bag Project themes, and also just get to meet us as a full team because we haven't done that yet. And so real quick, let's talk about logistics. How can they meet you? How, how, how does this all work? When's Trash and happening? Yeah, so the Trash and Show right now is available on our website. If you want to apply, you're able to. You can also come and see us in Easter Market After Dark September 21st to meet our team and also interact with our tables. Well, thank you so much for the work that you're doing, uh, putting Detroit on the map for an entirely new reason, and what a great cause as well. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for being <laughs> in the studio you. with us. Nick, how great is this? Want one or two. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies.